fashion show. It's just chaotic. There's girls going this way and that way. There's hair and makeup chasing after you. I mean, it's just crazy, crazy mayhem. Susan Holmes McKagan is a former runway model who in the mid-1990s was one of the 20 highest paid in her industry. She met and married legendary Guns N' Roses rocker Duff McKagan. Supermodel Miss Susan Holmes is here. Hi, Hi girl. Hi. Susan was a supermodel in my day. Hi, I'm Susan Holmes. I have enjoyed a successful career in modeling and as a designer, I've dressed some of the world's fabulous people. Swimsuit designer whose fashions have been appearing in a variety of publications, including Sports Illustrated. And then before I knew it, it was doing quite well. I'm kind of the rock and roll bikini designer. Okay, that looks great. Yeah, it's it's very moving very delicate and subtle. Susan is a combo of brains and beauty. Her designs embrace the covers of countless magazines and are worn by celebs like Kate Hudson, Venus Williams, and Heidi Klum. Her swimsuits have been such a hit, they've been featured in Sports Illustrated magazine for 10 consecutive years. Wow. For a swimsuit designer, it's kind of the Bible of swimsuit buyers for the year. It is, it is. I like her choice in suit. It just, you know, brightens things up a bit and it's more of the moment than your basic black bikini. It sort of has these feminine ruffling details. It just looks really soft and pretty. She has a bikini line and she's recently been starring in the uh, E! show Married to Rock. Today's the day for the Ink Not Mink campaign and I'm so excited. <laughs> Animals need a voice and a platform, and I hope we make a difference. That's the show. I love people. I love to see people look and feel their absolute best. I guess I am the unconventional fashion designer. What sort of inspired you to start a line? I just had a passion for fashion. Learning firsthand from such brilliant designers like Yves Saint Laurent, Azadi and Alaya. Learning fit and trend. That was my school. <laughs> I learned a little something something from some of the greats. You definitely have a license to be able to tell people. This look is super hot right now. She's wearing a faux fur leopard print coat. Mm -hmm. This is me channeling Nicki Minaj, Scarface, nice. Rihanna. She She's looking hot. She's got a fitted sequin dress. She can wear this dress for the upcoming holidays. How cute is this vest? This is Jessica Simpson collection at Macy's. The accessories too, all Macy's. But there's a right and wrong way to work that first date look. This is what Nicole Richie <laughs> says is called the easy tiger look on a first date. <laughs> the rules of fashion, you're allowed to show one thing. That means leg or cleavage or maybe a backless dress. Right. And you can even wear this in summer or winter. You can make it more wintry by adding black opaque tight and cute oh. little booty shoes. You're giving up. You're not trying. You have to try a little harder. I love this dress. Don't get me wrong, but it's how you wear what you're wearing. If your smile is your best accessory. Supermodel and fashion expert Susan Holmes McKagan is here to show us how you can dress your age and still look really, really hot. Tell me why she got it right with this look here. She looks stylish and classy and elegant. This is a Diane von Furstenberg, which I think is always timeless. It's slimming and figure flattering. It cinches you at the waist. It's skimming your figure, but it's knee length, which yeah. is a bit more appropriate. The blue Missoni theme, but she's wearing sort of a sleeveless fitted tank underneath. It's cinched at the waist again to give a nice waistline. And this is a silk shirt from Ikip Malt, which is, you can find it at Nordstrom. Beautiful jewel tones look great and becoming on your skin. Mm -hmm. I just think she looks great. You know, you can make it sexy, a button-down shirt, a classic shirt. Sure. It's how you wear it and sure. pull it off. We so. have some uh, celebrity yeah. pictures of Angelina Jolie. She looks timeless and elegant, showing a bit up top, but in a demure way, you know, that length below the knee. Mm -hmm. Heidi Klum's legs are insured for two million bucks. I mean, you gotta protect those gams, they're gorgeous. From head to toe, they are sex, power, and just a passionate couple. Those two are the cutest couple ever. They seem to just have a blast. They go to the red carpet and bring their grandma. I mean, it's awesome. Susan, you are the factual one. You're the brains behind this operation. Please tell the people, International Surfing Day and the Surfrider Foundation, what does it all mean? That's right. We're here today on what's now its eighth year on International Surfing Day. Brought to you by the Surfrider Foundation, Trans World Surf, and SME. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty psyched for today. So tell us about your meeting with the Rebel Movement. They gave us a history of what's been going on over there. You obviously inspired them a lot, and those little kids look up to you a tremendous amount. And I'm dying to see the movie, Isolated. It's going to be amazing. Well, that was Kelly Slater right there. Uh, He's the ambassador. Yeah, thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, Bonjour, France. Comment ça va? Quoi de l'heure comme aujourd'hui? 
you're busy. Thank so you. you're a mama <laughs> too, a beautiful wife, and now yeah. you have Huffington Post. Yeah, that's my latest exciting endeavor. I've been writing a lot, and I'm just loving that. I get to write about pretty much anything I want, from fashion and style to travel. What an epic moment. Pretty much my dreams came true tonight. I mean, gorgeous models, fantastic people, my husband there. I just got blessed by the fashion god. Last year, put it on the